Um, I'd just like to see more from Darren Till. I think he's had the chance to feel him out. Uh, I'd like to see him become more aggressive. We talk a lot about Woodley and how- Oh! How he's hacked out for Woodley! Till cover it up! Tyron Woodley, big elbows now! Till's trying to pull him into the guard. Till controlling posture. Tyron easily just stepped over in the half guard now. This round, he's got to figure out a way to either get back up to his feet or to protect. Oh, look out. He's looking for a darts. Looking for a darts. Tyron looking for a submission here. He does have a darts choke on his resume. Darren Till not the tap and tight. They got a tap. tap. Whoa. Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley oh. made it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a Darce choke and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyron, the chosen one, I thought, first of all, it just it, it kills me that I, there was a man better than me in, in the octagon, yeah. and that was tonight. Tyron was better. I just gonna go away and, and, and work harder, and I just wanna have a week off and yeah. I'm gutted. I'm just gutted. Yeah. I just wanna be the hardest person alive. I wanna be fe feared like that. That's what I want, and and I want people to look at me and say, not say, there's Darren. He, he's a top. UFC fighter, or he's one of the UFC fighters. I want people to look and say, he's a f***ing animal, he's the best UFC fighter in the world. That's what I want people to say eventually. On March 16th, the UFC returns to the O2 Arena in London. We have two welterweights top in the bill. We have Darren Till, the gorilla from Liverpool, England, taking on perennial contender Jorge Masvidal. This is going to be absolute fireworks. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London! Darren, you know exactly what I expect. Please fight hard. I need you to fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, now's the time. God bless.
Couldn't ask for a better pony. Man, this guy's tough. I was a little bit out of that first. Damn, he's good, man. He's only 24, England. He's got so much more to go. I'm 34. He's, he's going to be a, a tiger one day right now. He's a young bull. He's going to be a tiger, so pick him up. Don't start dissing him, you know? That's a warrior right there. Well, Darren Till got knocked the fuck out. I do want to ask you about, obviously, something we, are, we were just watching now, actually. Darren Till, uh, a, a devastating de defeat to Jorge Masvidal. Um, yeah, just your, your thoughts on that, Michael. Devastating. Um, I know Darren, and, and I know how much you know, he wanted it. I actually got to see the first round, and I had to get physio, so I just turned it off because it looked like he was going to... He was going to win handy enough, and then the newser came in when 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 you popped in the door that he was a KO'd and it was a bad one. It's it's horrible to see when you see someone getting KO'd uh, and they're unconscious for a wee bit. It's it's not nice, but you know, I'm sure he'll come back. He'll be he has the ability to. He's still very young. You know, sometimes I I look at Darn Tom like wow he's a beast. You know, like watching him going that what he's doing like the crowds he's selling out. And then I really is, he's younger than me. So um, he, he has loads of time to come back and, uh, and regain. He's had three massive fights. Uh, and to take Masvidal as his first comeback fight after after Woodley shows what he's about and shows how much you know, he, wa he he wants to be the number one fighter in the in, in the division. But you know, it could be all down. that He could be too big for that division. And, and you know, he, may be, he seemed like he may be comfortable this time, but... That could take something out of him, and, and that could have caused, you know, problems with your chin. It's it's known in the past in boxing anyway. You know, the later people get sometimes it, it takes out of you know punch resistance. So, um, it could have been something like that. But I'm sure you go back and and look at the mistakes he's made and and, and you know fix them. So he has loads of time. It's the UFC. He's going. He will 100% get a, a chance again, especially when you're selling out numbers, which he's selling out and and doing it so quickly and, and so early on in your career, there's always time to come back. Till's in a good spot whether he knows it or not. But what do you do? And I think that when you're a young, hungry guy that wants to be the world champion, and Till does, staying at 170 pounds doesn't make the most sense. What are you saying at 174? The weight cutting issues that he's had. He's the first to, to tell us that. And Man, I hate doing this weight class. I'm a young guy. My body's growing. I want to let it grow. And I want to move up to middleweight. So when you take all those things together, let's just do it sooner rather than later. Why stick around at 170? What's the worst till falls to? Five? Right? I mean, as, as harsh as the rankings are on a guy, but you can't really put him at less than five. Till's one of the guys. So let's just move him up to 185. And then it comes to where do you want to match him up? Well, you could really start anywhere. I think that much like Nganu, putting him with a guy who's top heavy in wrestling isn't the way to go. If you have something to say with your own matchups. Now, I don't think the promotion or anybody's going to protect him, but as he goes out and starts to look ahead himself, he's a, he's a proven stand-up fighter. He's a proven exciting, big draw, unique attributes in the stand-up and he comes from a country that doesn't do a lot of wrestling I mean it, it is what it is right so I don't exactly know who we would get matched up with or where that he would go but I would offer you that 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 wherever we start we start at middleweight and um, and you keep him away from a wrestler you know he doesn't need to be in there with Weidman tomorrow he doesn't need to be in there with Yoel Romero tomorrow but there are matchups that you could see for Till right out of the gate. Maybe Weidman and Romero aren't the ones, but maybe Whitaker is. And I'm not offering for you that he walks into a title fight against Whitaker. What I'm offering for you is there, there are certain athletes that with their styles and the right matchups can do remarkable things. And with some other matchups, they, they, they can show that they've, they've got a little growing to do. <laughs> We've got another middleweight fight coming up, which is really fascinating. Kelvin Gastelum, Darren Till moving up to middleweight. What were your thoughts when you first heard, right, I'm going up to middleweight and I want Kelvin Gastelum? Yeah, I was, I, you know, I had said things in the press that I felt like we rushed that kid and uh, here he goes. He, he, he wants to fight Gastelum. I, 
at, at a higher weight. Uh, I love it. I respect it. So we, 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 we tried to talk him out of it. He really? was, he, yeah, he wasn't having it. That's the fight he wanted. And uh, so we did it. And much respect to him. And was there any hesitation on Gastelum's side to, no. to take on the, no? Of Gastelum's one of those guys that there's never hesitation. He'll fight anybody.
Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he arrives when he wants to arrive, innit? To finish my camp in London and come when I want. I'm on no one's time schedule. Can't wait to just fight now. Have some fun. Enjoy the process. Take the good with the bad. Good with the bad. best fight week I've seen since I've been with him. He's, uh, he's relaxed. We've done quality training. One tray gloves on. Darren always looks for the biggest challenge in whatever he does in life. He likes to be told, you shouldn't do this, you can't do that. You're not ready for this. As soon as he hears them words, just lights a massive fire in his belly. And that's what he's got with gay slim. It's, it's, as we know, dangerous fights, huge fight. Definitely a baptism by fire on his behalf, but he thrives on things like that. He, like, he, he likes to... Uh, like to put the middle finger up to the wheel and say, you know what, I am good enough. Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry, how I ball 
Dosha garments and a white three on my body I'm an icon, man And my girl about a ten I should fuck her in the best Make it say they run I wanna stay cool and copy at the same time So pull them down again Cash, rack, rack